passes to Madrid just yet. This Kenyan side that boasts the gifts of Stella Wafula and Phoebe Otiano and Judith Okumu, if they can manufacture a mathematical miracle with victory over Belgium by a landslide score and hope that China put on a cricket score against Poland, then maybe things change. Whilst for Belgium, who got the try-scoring prowess of Cecile Blondio, they've got the verve of Hannah Swears and Margot Lally, they know that if they are victorious here by a hefty number of points, then they make absolutely sure that they will finish third in the challenger rankings, and that will have a bearing on who they will face at the HSBC Sevens Madrid. You need a fair bit of mathematical acumen to navigate your way safely through the challenger. But when it comes to the third place playoff, you keep it simple. You score more than them and you will claim bronze. And it is a colour that Belgium have burnished themselves with already on the challenger this year. Fifth in Dubai, third in Montevideo. And Gianna Viljoen of South Africa will be charged with keeping a lid on a bubbling bronze that contains both Belgium and Kenya. Belgium are off to Madrid. The Lionesses, this will be their last roar. And they fumble immediately from the kickoff. Back in their 22. The juggle, just the eyes not connected with the fingertips right now for the Lionesses in red. Their men off to Madrid, their women will not. Tough on a team that has gone so deep into the competition, they will look back on their eighth place in Montevideo. They'll look back on it ruefully, having been a runner-up in Dubai. One of the new girls, Nariaka, a scorer with her first touch of the ball, swung to the floor in the 22, and then the left edge is opened up. Then the pass is delivered into the grass of Naomi Amunguni, who stretches her legs, shifts through the gears, and scores the opening try of the match. Sevens internationally capped woman with green, green grass ahead of her. A beautiful strike from Sineda Niaccio. It's got a rather sweet left peg when it comes to conversions, but Belgium opened up with far too much ease there. It was a draw and a pass and a finish from Amanguni. He's been doing it all competition. Kick off, doesn't travel 10 meters, so it'll be a free kick to the Belgians. In the middle of the park, Marco Stevans. Taps, she goes and Belgium lose their precision in the pass. The footballing skills have saved them here. It's a bit of a battle on the deck, and eventually, despite the Belgians and Shari Class emerging with the ball, the call goes to the Kenyans. Shari Class unable to borrow it quick enough as the camera falls on Maureen Muritu, who has it incredible story of how she came to seven she was a hockey player Trump. thugs robbed her on the way to national trials she never made it to those national hockey trials Six. and in a twist of fate traveling from the small town of embu of Gatondo in embu country she found her way to rugby sevens and now the grand stage of the hsbc world rugby challenger one of the many stories that tell a tale of utter commitment and sacrifice to represent one's country and attempt to reach the highest heights. Belgium 
will have a tilt at that title as they are off to Madrid. But right now they trail 7-0 to the Lionesses. Beautiful hands swung to the left edge, but the arrival of Swears halts that move emphatically. What a tackle coming in. And who else? But Cecile Blondio, who has a mountain of tries and points in her challenger career. A highly impressive CV notches another in the colours for Belgium. Stevans can't add the extras, so it'll just be the five and they still do trail by two points. Another kickoff error, this time from Belgium. has been comparatively quiet on the try scoring front this weekend in Krakow she's been filling her boots in the UAE in Uruguay they've restricted to just a pair of scores this weekend in Poland the Lionesses travel from the base the try scorer Amanguni receives a little help from her friend Nariaka part of the Safari 7 squad in November in Nairobi that's where she staked her claim as they themselves claim the legendary title away goes Cristobal Lindo Mwambarar FC's finest uncompromisingly drilled to the floor by Charlie Class and Lindo is forced to hold on and she's penalised for it. Touch missed. Possession conceded. Beautiful pass. Opening up the midfield and cutting out some of those onrushing Belgian defenders who are now off their feet in the ruck. No penalty given, but certainly room to play with for Kenya, who looked for the inside offload to Nariaka. An incredible impact. First touch, first break from her, and the chip over the top just catches a fingertip from the Belgians. Look at that physicality from Maureen Muritu. <laughs> Nela Pien levelled, but resourcing the ball and Hannah Swears the Athletics fan showing that she wouldn't look out of place on a track herself streaking down the left edge and the Bell Sevens take the lead Swears with the finish but one has to admire the way that Belgium were able to keep the ball alive despite the intensity of the tackles from the Lionesses the glance over the shoulder but home free and Belgium having added the conversion lead Kenya 12 points to 7 at half time
Allez, allez, allez. 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 The former Belgian men's sevens player out there directing his troops, looking for them to achieve bronze here. It is a stadium that is laced with a tinge of heartache for these Belgians who fell to Czechia in the bronze medal match of the European Games last summer and that's why they won't be in Monaco at the Olympic repechage. Making Madrid was their sole goal from this weekend and they may just do so in some style as Swears once again is roaring free. You could throw a tee out over the Kenyan defence at the moment, so narrow, but they do scramble, they do fan, but Blondio! Oh, oh, oh. It's just manipulated every red jersey and there's not a shred of defensive DNA upon her from the Kenyans as Cecile Blondio bags a brace in the bronze medal match Another pair of points on the scoreboard. And the way things are going here, Belgium are on course for securing third position in the challenger table. And that will see them join Argentina in Pool B when it comes to Sevens Madrid. Brazil and South Africa are also in that pool. Brazil and Argentina meeting in the pool stages. Come that seven showdown in Madrid. We've got so much more excitement to come here today in Krakow. <coughs> With the final between China and the hosts, Poland who have really captured the imagination of their home crowd and they've risen to the challenge as well. Building throughout the competition and uh, where you can see the red and white hoop jerseys of the Polish supporters there who are basking. They literally are basking in the Southern Polish sun. Incredible conditions for a swathe of tries that have been scored by these women across the weekend. Play has halted for some medical attention to one of the players that you can just see to the left of the shot. She's being well tended to. Tricky stoppage for both sets of players to navigate here, but as far as this Belgian side are concerned, there were some pretty stern words exchanged after defeat against Poland last night. And they've come back firing. It was a big performance against Paraguay in their quarter-final and 
They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Chinese, going down 21 points to 12. In the end, tries from Klassen, Umbra Collette. And they really stood up to the Chinese, who really few have held a candle to all competition. The only nation who has is their opposition in this third place playoff, Kenya. Really, when you look back at how China have performed, remarkably defeated them on the opening match of the whole challenger out in Dubai, game one. But since then, China have gone on a remarkable run that has seen them win every match since. Eleven in a row headed into this weekend. It's a sweet 16 as it stands. And only Poland stand in their way of making it 17. Talk about a winning habit. Winning habit. Sizable enough. Maybe have to pay extra luggage when travelling to Madrid. That is some positive baggage to be carrying to a competition where they will meet Japan, Spain and in all likelihood will have Poland as the other challenger in their group. And warm if not concerned applause all here at the Henrik Raymonds as the young Kenyan Edith Nariaka is stretched from the field and all of us, all of us wishing her well. As the game restarts and falls into Belgian hands, a skip, a burst and Blondio won't have a hat-trick yet. Stay Vance orchestrating in midfield the returning Mouge beautiful ball not a stutter in the step because it's right out there in front of Colette the reformed footballer now praying at the altar of the oval ball in Kenya 12 points adrift and 90 metres away from their target away a penalty and you see there immediately the gesturing from Margot Stavans a scrub sucking those Kenyan defenders maybe have a poke down that big blind side where Ombra Collette is positioning herself and just hinting that she may fancy a trot fine It will go to Colette's side, but Stavans doesn't get the pass away. Instead, she pumps the pistons and gains some meters that weren't hers to take. Blondio in the centers, on the drift, has Van der Poole with her, but Blondio looks to go it alone. Judith Akumi, a judge to have been offside. Belgian tap, they pop it to Blondie. Oh, yeah, it's hat trick time. Okay. Are you here? Can you please check try and try for the double movement? I will. Oh, Blondie out. Came like a steam train. It was a wonderful attempt to hold her up. I don't think there was a grounding there, but as she came back round here, this is the angle that'll tell us.
is her own forearm in the way? That's probably the question that the TMOs are asking themselves. And as she rolled around as well, she might have got the ball down as the momentum took both players over each other. Gianna, yes. I have a decision for you. You may award the try. Thank you. Patrick confirmed. You can't keep Blondio out of the try scoring news, can you? It's been a quiet weekend up until now. But that takes her to 190 challenger points across her career. Quite remarkable. Such a nose for the line. And the former basketballer has no interest in three pointers. She's five pointers all the way. Brilliant kickoff. Bang on the money. You couldn't ask for more. A Belgium are beginning to look in the mood. Emily Mursch has Kenyan standing off her as Niaccio eventually engages. Van der Poole has Blondio lurking with try scoring intent. That is a pass and a half. Blondio dragged almost across the touchline. But the recycle, the whip, the range of this Belgian side, then the feet coming in from Colette. Into the 22 they go. Stavans gets caught. Moosh. The ball has really Wants to nip off, but doesn't tap it properly. Strong. Well, Belgium are Four finishing ways. on a high here. They're going to make absolutely sure that they finish third position in the challenger. They will join Argentina, South Africa and Brazil in Pool B at Sevens Madrid. With two third positions and a fifth. And an ever improving and an ever developing cohesion amongst them. It will be a threat. Come that sensational shootout that is coming. Stay Vance scoops it up. Van der Poole has room. She's got wheels, she's got pace, she's got the confidence to go around the outside of Akumu. Lali, denied. Oh, and spilt forward by Van der Poole with the line begging. have been living off scraps Bind. in this third place match Sit. not the feast the big lioness appetites like no, it was accidental. accidentally not back stay bands lally out to the edge but leaked forward so bit of a frustrating finish to this match as far as both sides are concerned but well we get to see one last blast from the kenyan women 90 meters to go but a big blind side some lethal runners Bye. out there They go to the open side. They arc through the centres. Jason Fraser Kumu fell round the waist. And Freshia Odor, another one of the debutants, brought down. That's inventive from Niaccio. But the touchline will beat them all. 
And the Belgian bench have their arms aloft and the Bell Sevens embrace each other. It's a job well done. It is third place secured, not just in Krakow, but it is third place secured overall in the HSBC World Rugby Sevens Challenger. They're headed to Madrid. They'll be in Pool B and they will be in the hunt for promotion to the HSBC Sevens. We sadly bid farewell to the Kenyans. And those lionesses will roar again. Make no bones about it. And Kenya Corner will be well represented by the Shuja Pride.